Hi, Capricorn. It's a reading for Capricorn. This reading could resonate with anyone um, who has Capricorn strongly in their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This will be a free form, freestyle type reading. So I'm going to just get right in with this Capricorn. Let's see what is here in the situation around you. Let's see what's here. King of Pentacles, there you are. Well, Capricorn, um, no matter if you're a male or a female, you are in, um, you are looking at your, you're in the King of Pentacles energy. Um, you're looking at your life, Capricorn, and working on systems and processes and making decisions that help move you forward um, in an overall way into a more abundant future. So this is long-term planning. So you're um, where the, the Queen of Pentacles will look at the details. She'll be in the moment of now and she will look at the details. She'll make sure everything is right today. She'll look at tomorrow and make sure she's ready for tomorrow. She'll make sure the, 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 the checkbook is balanced. I know that is an old phrase because I don't even um, do that really anymore. We have online banking and everything, but you know what I mean. She'll look at the daily expenditures. She'll look at the daily revenue, and she'll make sure that it's all, you know, computed right. The King of Pentacles is more focused on the long-term, uh, uh, long-term progress of your, um, the resources in your life, the money in your life, where you're going to be going, where where you'll be at in one year, where you'll be at in three years, where you'll be at in five years, and what you want to be doing in ten years. So. Um, he really looks out into the future and he makes long-term strategic decisions to ensure success. That's what the King of Pentacles does. So that's what you are, are in um, the energy of. So this is a masculine energy. Um, it's a, it's an active energy. You're, you're being very practical. You're being very real about your life, Capricorn. You're saying like, you know, if I don't have money, if I don't have resources, if I don't have um the the quality of life that brings me comfort like why am i working so hard what is my goal in this lifetime and there's a very real focus on claiming the idea that one can be comfortable and enjoy life and when you're in the king of pentacles you know that that life that you are enjoying it might not be today it might not be fully today. Um, you might be working towards a dream of tomorrow. That's what the King of Pentacles does. He he makes sure that the people in his life, that his kingdom is set up correctly. He takes care of the legacy that he's creating. And he wants to make sure that what he's doing today is going to be abundant tomorrow. And what he's doing tomorrow is going to be um, continuing to grow into the long-term future. So he doesn't want to take part in something that has a very short-term, um, it has a very short-term result. He, he's, he's not so much attracted to the, um, the exciting, um, he's somewhat discouraging or not, that's not the word, disparaging. He just is not so much attracted to like a fad. He, he's much more, he, he likes long, he, he just likes the security of something that makes a lot of sense that he could slowly move into. He can make sure it's right. He doesn't just jump spontaneously into big ideas and take off in a big way into something. He, he usually doesn't do that. All right. So you, you're in a place here with, with the Nine of Pentacles. And now when the King of Pentacles feels the Nine of Pentacles, I mean, that's truly enjoyment of life. So there's something here that is giving you a little bit of room now to make some decisions, a little bit of clearance now to make decisions. So you're in a very empowered place. You're feeling independent. You feel like you have the ability um, to really do this kind of work and set, your up, set yourself up um, for a, um, a successful long-term plan. Um, you could have some funding here. You could have earned yourself just a little bit of cash. Um, whatever that means to you, it's going to mean different from one person to another. But you have the means now. You have the independence. You have the 
opportunity now to start making some decisions for yourself that really kind of guide you forward in a, in a really beautiful way. Now, um, you're, you're in this position. It, it almost feels like you're in some sort of a in some sort of a vehicle or you're, you're definitely on a journey and you're moving forward in this journey. Um, you have some decisions to make as you move forward. You have some decisions to make and you could be working on these decisions now. Um, just in the true energy of the King of Pentacles, uh, it looks like you're gathering your data, you're investigating, you're, you're building your reports, you're creating your lists. Um, you're really trying to figure out what the truth um, is for you, what the what the evidence is, um, what is accurate, what are the real numbers. Um, you're in this very much um, a, a logic energy, and I think you could be thinking differently than you've thought before. <clears throat> you could be thinking about something that is um, somewhat of a new idea for you or a new concept for you, because a sword energy is... See, it's not a two of pentacles. It's it's something that is about an idea. It's about a belief system idea, some new thoughts that you're having that that have the the ability to kind of give you a little bit of a fireworks of the brain, like a brain a brain orgasm kind of thing. Um, King of Pentacles. So there's something here. Um, I just hear laughter, like. <laughs> Ah, ah, ha, 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 you said orgasm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but that's what it feels like. It's like something that you're doing here, you're in this new capacity that you have, and you're thinking of something that, I'm blushing, by the way, I'm sitting here like, oh my gosh, Jody, I'm such a prude. I can't help it. I was raised how I was raised. And how do you like overcome that? When you were raised to not, to only, you know, like I was raised in such a fundamental conservative way. I mean, oh my goodness. And there's so many of you listening to me. Um, but that's what I mean. I mean, when the word comes, like I can't stop it. Like that is what it is. Something is making you quite excited. Like there's something that's quite exciting for you. Um, and now you're trying to figure out, like, is this real? Is this real what you're doing? Is this something that's really going to, going to be... Um, as something that's going to actually work and, and actually succeed because you don't really want to put your time and effort into something that's not going to really bring, bear fruit. Capricorn, because you work so damn hard. You really do. You work hard. That's what you do. I, I know because I'm a Capricorn as well. I mean, I'm a Capricorn moon, not a sun, but I'm a Capricorn moon. And I, I feel that in me. Like I work damn hard and I have worked damn hard all of my life. And to actually get to a place where you can do something different, like the work I'm doing now, when I'm working, I mean, this is a performance. So when I'm done with these readings and I've been channeling, like I'm tired, but the rest of the day, what, what can I do? I can go work in my garden. I can sit in my recliner. I have to rest. Resting is part of my work. If I don't rest, will I be able to do this tomorrow? No, I learned the hard way. What do you think? I went into a month of like, not being able to work because I worked myself to the bone with this kind of work and I had to learn how to moderate, right? There's something here like that for you, Capricorn. There's something here that's a different type of an idea that has something that you're trying to figure out. Like, is this really real? And you're a little bit on the fence about it here. You're a little bit on the fence about it. Um, you have a lot that you, you have a lot going for you, Capricorn, and you don't want to just jump into something that puts everything else at risk. Um, you care about the people around you. You care about what you own. You care about your bank account. You care, you care about your long-term plan. And to just jump into this, you have the means and you have the independence to do this. You have the ability to do this, but to just jump into something, I think that it's, is something that you are cautious about doing. Um, it doesn't mean that you're not doing this. It just means that you're carefully think of, thinking about this. And as I realize now, I am describing the King of Pentacles and usually what the King of Pentacles does when he makes a decision. So you're in a decision-making process here. Nevertheless, you are really excited about this. That's what I mean, the fireworks going off. Like you're, you're excited about this. And this is a three energy with the three of wands. So there's something here that you are seeing, seeing the real potential. 
It's like you're saying, okay, I'm at this point of my life. Maybe I can step outside of this security box. And I'm not saying you're in a box, but I'm saying that you are in some way or another sticking your foot out into something new and testing the waters. And you have seen the waters lapping up at your shoe. Like you have, you have been able to feel the water on the other side, right? You've been able to feel it lapping up at your shoe. And I think it does fill you with optimism and excitement. There's something here, either someone else has done this and achieved success, or you're finding a system or a, or a company or something that's already been somewhat established that because the three, you're excited because it, it's like, remember the three of wands is the ships out in the ocean and you can see them. You can start to see your ships coming in, right? It's that kind of a feeling. Is that my ship? I wonder if that's my ship, right? It's that kind of a feeling. So there's something here that has given you like an edge up. Is that the phrase edge up? I have no idea. Sometimes I, I don't get the phrases right. So, um, but, but there's something here that you can base this on or you can use there there could be a tool here that really helps you or maybe it's a skill that you have that really puts you up into another level or something but you're excited and optimistic about it and even though you're you're a little bit hesitant and you could be um cautious and you're you're trying to find the data like you can't keep that excitement that passion um you can't you can't deny that it's there it's truly there and i think as you move forward here with the ace of wands like I, I think that you start taking action in this. Now, when you start doing something new, Capricorn, it doesn't have to be that you jump in with both feet. You can make transitions, and these transitions can take some time. Um, I think for you, you do have the capacity here to do this, um, but you know that you have some things to lose too if if this goes too fast or if it's too, too um, whirlwindy, right? And so... I do feel that you're going to start something here because you have an Ace of Wands and it's something that you feel passionate about. It's something that you're excited about. It's probably something that's creative because the Ace of Wands energy is a very creative energy. Um, it, it could be even a new relationship. You could be talking about a new relationship here. You could talk, be talking about starting a second business or um, get, getting a, a part-time job, uh, but it's something that you truly love. It's something that just brings brings that energy. It inspires you. It, it gives you energy. Instead of taking energy from, from you, it, it somehow, it, it energizes you. So it's something usually with Ace of Wands, it's a natural ability that you can just kind of connect into. It's almost like you already have this inside of you. You're primed for this. And all you have to do is like plug yourself into it and you're ready to go. And you are going through some sort of a decision here, which means that you're nervous about stepping forward into it. And so the, the information that's coming forward is, is saying like you get to monitor um, how you move forward. You get to monitor the pace and make sure that the pace is going at a speed that you're comfortable with. Because the Ace of Wands can sometimes take you right into a whirlwind. That's what the Ace of Wands, it's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful feeling. Um, these are hesitation, these are hesitation energies and these are f fire forward energies. So you're going to have 50, 50, you're going to really have to balance, um, the rational mind with, with the go center, right? Right. The red light with the green light. You're going to have to balance those, those colors. I mean, Knight of cups is here. So you could be moving into a relationship, but you could be moving into a new job. But with the Knight of Cups, this is something that just totally inspires you. It lifts you up. It raises you up. It rebuilds you. It fills you with love. It fills you with freshness. It lights up your heart. It lights up your world. It brightens your days. It's kindness, it's compassion, it's love, it's romance. 
So there definitely could be a person here. And if it's a job or if it's a new hobby or if it's something new that you're doing, well, we know it's something new you're doing. It's something that fills you with the, the brightest rays of the sun. So let's start digging in just a little bit here. Let's start digging in and see what we can find here. Um, let's see what we can find here, Capricorn. What do we want to start with? What do we want to start with? What does the King of Pentacles intend to do? What does the King of Pentacles intend to do? Wheel of Fortune. Move forward. Change your destiny. Move on to something new. Make some money. Enjoy the risk of it. Like he wants to have the Wheel of Fortune is, um, he's looking for a little bit of um, what's so he's looking for a little bit of jazz. He's looking for a little bit of, um, he's looking for this. He's looking for this feeling, but he knows that it, sometimes it comes with a price. So he's not, he's not forgetting what he needs to remember, but there is something here that he's, he's wanting to pizzazz. That's right. He's, he's wanting some pizzazz. He's wanting some, he's wanting to move on. He's wanting to move on from pain. This came out first. He's wanting to move on from pain and sadness. And this could be you. You could be a female. So this is a masculine energy. I'm calling it a he, but um, it can be a she. It's just the energy. So this person is wanting to move on from sadness and pain. Move on from that gloom energy. Basically, that's what it is. And I think that he's willing to risk some things for this to move forward. He's willing to put some money on the table. He's willing to put some energy down. He's willing to spend some energy. He's willing to step forward. And he's been thinking about it here. Look at the foot on the knee. This is the energy transference here. This is the hanged man, isn't it? This is the hanged man and the hanged man is up right now. So there's no more delay. It's time to go. Like he's feeling that passion. He's feeling this. He's feeling the passion center. Let's look into the Ace of Wands. Let's look into the Ace of Wands. Eight of Wands, I'm telling you, it is just, it's super exciting. <laughs> Capricorn, <laughs> what's happening? What you got? What you got going on? Emperor, you're going to own this too. Now, there could be an emperor here. Well, how interesting is this? Look at this Eight of Wands next to the emperor. What a little interesting surprise we have coming in here, my friends. Eight of Wands with the Emperor. All right, so this could be you. So if you're on a solitary energy, if you're on a solitary path, many people are, right? Then this is you commanding this, taking control of this, managing this, doing this, right? If this is someone else here, and I'm going to, I'm going to read like it's someone else because I like to do that because what it allows you to do is say, oh, if I'm on a solitary journey, I'm just going to take this explanation and filter it over the top of me. I'm going to consider me now, not the King of Pentacles, but the emperor, right? You can just put yourself in as an emperor, but there are some people here who have something going on, who have something going on, a little hot little experience going on here with the emperor energy. Now, this could be a job. Again, it doesn't have to be love, but for some of you, it I'm serious that, that it is because we have love here. We have communication. We have something new, something passionate, something that you feel pretty optimistic about, something that you're willing to risk a little bit for. And there's communication going back and forth, excitement, when I, you know, and I, and I kept saying it's fireworks, right? 
And I kept saying it's like fireworks of the brain. Well, look what's going on here. Here's the third eye lit up. And here, I mean, this could be sparklers or something, right? This is like fireworks. And now we have this emperor energy. What does this emperor energy say? What does this emperor energy say? Those of you who have stuck around get to experience this most fun part of the reading. That's what happens when I dig down. Like there are some treasures in here um, that, that my team and I were starting to figure out a system with this free-forming it where um, sometimes the energies that get put on the table are energies that are the harder energies. And then as I dig down, they're like treasures to uncover. Um, I, I prefer that than putting the best energies on the table and then digging down and think, saying, oh, shit, like, what is this now that I figured out what this is? So we're, we're coming up with a system that seems to be pretty exciting. I mean, it is pretty exciting. Let's see what the emperor has to say. What? Oh, what the? Oh, my gosh. Two of cups. Oh, my goodness. This is so exciting. Two of cups. <sighs> Heart connection partnership. We can do it together. We can make this work. You and me, baby, you and me, let's rock and roll. Right? There's somebody here that is a heart connection. Now remember, like this is just, it seems like it's just building. So this is what I mean with this ace of wands and this, you know, I mean, you can get caught up in a fierce whirlwind. Right. And and so you have to, you know, that's why you're being steady on your feet here and remembering like, OK, I, I, I'm going to go in this journey, but I'm going to keep myself grounded. I'm going to stay logical. I'm going to stay reasonable. Um, I want to make sure that my long term future is secure. I don't want to put everything in the in the wheelbarrow and run away with it. And and then all of a sudden my wheelbarrow gets tipped over and all of my security dumps out. Right. I have no idea where that analogy came from. So we're, we're going to just enjoy this. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm not going to go back to these energies anymore, but um, I'm going to pause here just for a second. I'm not going to go back to these energies anymore, and we're going to go down this whirlwind. So let's do it. Let's enjoy it. So here is the emperor. What is the emperor saying? Two of cups, heart connection. Look at the Two of Cups over the top of the Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords. Communication. Decision. Yes, this is it. I've decided I'm going to communicate. I have found clarity. Ace of Swords. There's no more denying it here. There's no more denying it. Look at this, two of swords, ace of swords, two of swords. So this is a progressing type of energy. This person may have an idea as well. May have an idea as well. I'm sorry, a little bit of, I don't know. So we have three cards pop out here. I think the emperor, whatever this is, whether this is a business, a love story, whatever it is, I think the emperor is sure. I think the emperor is sure. Now we get over here to you, Capricorn, and it's like you're still trying to figure out, you're still trying to figure out what your heart is saying. You're, strong, you're still trying to figure out what to do. I think you kind of know what you want to do here. I think you kind of know. I think there's one option that feels the best for you. It's going to require some vulnerability. It's going to require some openness here. It's going to require you to kind of pick up this bowl and tip it over to see what's inside. And I think because this is an emperor energy, somebody who is very much um, a force to be reckoned with, that once you tip this bowl over, and if this bowl applies or has something to do with the emperor, I think it's game on, right? It's game on. Now, you can always say no, and you can always back away, because that is what we can do when we are this learned, and we have this much wisdom, and we have this kind of strength. Yes, because you do have strength here, 
right? You can back away, you can turn away, but once you tip over this bowl, and if this bowl has the name emperor on it, you tip over that cup, I mean, the game's on, right? So you kind of know, like, you know? This is really about I mean, are you ready to go down another love journey? Are you ready to go down another experience? Is your heart ready? Have you healed enough from the past? Are you ready to take that chance? These are serious questions. And I think that the, the energy that you're in here um, is it is really an energy of moderation with the strength energy and I, and it's interesting that this picture shows oh here you go it shows a lamb right it shows a lamb instead of the lion so um i do really think that um, and here you have a heart so i really think that but see the lion here with the number eight so so i really think that you're feeling this that you want to step into this, but you want to be careful. You want to treat this situation very gently. But you, you want to make sure that you have the strength to handle this situation, that it doesn't get out of control, that you don't end up in a situation where there's someone with you that's unhealthy or there's a situation that you're in that's not balanced, that's not fair, that's not right for you. You really know the importance of that because at this point in time, I mean, you are the king of pentacles. You are working towards long-term future stability, long-term abundance. And you understand how hard you've worked and where you are now. And it took you quite a bit of time and, and a lot of effort to get to the nine of pentacles. And that's something that you don't really want to throw away. You're not willing to throw it away. So, um, I, I think you're realizing, like, if you're going to turn this cup over and you're going to, you know, you're going to say, like, I'm going to let you drink from my cup, then you're, you're going to need to have the strength to handle what comes after that. Because this person is a attractive, um, very strong, very dynamic individual. And that's attractive to you. And this person has decided. This person has no question. And that even in itself is, is, is sort of a indicator that of how strong this situation can be, that this person is so sure. How can this person be so sure? How can anyone be so sure about another person or about another situation? Right? And so I think you're you're not. You're not, you're just, that's why these energies are here. That's why these energies are here. All right, let's look into the Knight of Cups. Let's look into the Knight of Cups really quick before we go, before we go into the extended. There's the King of Wands again. <laughs> Emperor Energy again. Oh my gosh. Judgment. King of Swords, Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, she just slid right in there. Ace of Swords. All right. So this, remember, this is your energy here. So I think you're trying to figure out, like, how do, you, what do you do here? What do you do, like, in a real kind of way, right? You're, you're, you're enjoying this passion. You're ex enjoying the excitement of this, whatever it is in your life. You're enjoying it, but you're trying to decide, okay, I have this very strong situation here, a situation that's building, a situation that has something to create, um, could be a person, could be a, a job that's really 
blossoming into something really real that is, has like a creator energy to it. Um, but you're like, okay, I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm going to test the waters just a little bit, but how do I do that? How do I actually step forward into this? Do I do this or do I do that? Um, I think you're giving this a little bit of time. You're making sure that you have all of the resources that you need, that you have the time that you need. I mean, really, this is about time and how you manage time. And sometimes with the King of Wands, this kind of strong, persuasive, sexy, um, dynamic kind of individual, um, sometimes your time just gets sucked up. And I think that you're here trying to manage your time and saying, well, I have to do these things today. I need to continue to care for myself. I need to continue to do my work. I need to continue to, to be mindful of my family. So, um, you know, I need to do these things and then we can do this or whatever it is. It's management of time and not giving too much of yourself, not, um, it's staying balanced in the real world. It's staying balanced in the real world. You have judgment energy here. So it's like there's something, there's something new coming in for you. It brings out a different version of yourself. It, it is a lighter, um, a lighter version of yourself. It's a happy version of yourself. Um, it's something that you have yearned for for a long time. So it's really like, it's really flipping your switches. It's really flipping your switches here with the judgment energy. Um, the Queen of Swords is here, and when the Queen of Swords is in reverse, I really think that you are um, holding back on, that's why the Strength card is here too, you're holding back on maybe old things that you used to say like, well, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just not ready for this, and, and I just don't, you know, I, I'm just not sure about this, and I've just been bent too, too much, and, you know, the Queen of Swords is in reverse is, is sometimes... Um, a, a communication style that is um, not helpful for the situation. Um, but I, I think that the Queen of Swords is actually being silent, like you're surrendering into this and what you would have normally have said um, is, is not actually being said. The Queen of Swords is being quiet. Um, the Queen of Swords is waiting. The Queen of Swords is, um, is acting in a different way than it normally acts, that, that, that part of yourself. And then we have this Ace of Swords coming out again. So I think that you have um, you have found a strategy. You have found a way uh, that you think is going to help you as you tr move forward in this. So I feel like I feel like you you are going to test the waters. You are going to move forward. You do have a plan here, um, and you're going to see what what happens with this. So that's that's the reading. That's in the next couple of weeks. Now these are big energies. So this could happen over a longer period of time. For some of you, it's going to happen really fast because this is very fast energy. For others of you, because of these energies, it's going to be slower. So I feel less confident about the timing in this reading. I truly do. Um, so I'm going to move forward now into the extended. And in the extended, um, we're going to take, we're going to look at the emperor energy. We're going to look at your energy in the king of pentacles. We're going to look at the emperor's energy. We're going to start asking some questions. Right. We're going to start asking the emperor some questions, um, see what we find. We're going to dig deeper, um, see what the emperor really intends, see why the emperor likes you, um, see why you like the emperor, see how the emperor feels about money. You know, we're going to ask some really interesting questions um, and then we'll take this situation and see what the snapshot of it is in the first couple of weeks of June and see where it is at that point in time. So that's the that is the um, the itinerary. That is the agenda. That is the plan for the extended. All right, my friends, thank you very much for being here. It's always a pleasure to be in Capricorn energy. You guys are awesome. And um, I wish you all the best. And we'll see you back on YouTube in another week or so with another update for Capricorn. All right, thank you all very much.